people, but you have to be there for yourself. You will drive yourself crazy being that available person. And we all have friends who are just so available to us and always call us with their problems or issues and stuff like that. And that's what you do as a friend. But also as a friend, you have to realize that that person has issues too. Who helps the helper when the helper needs helping? freaking video a whole nother video see i'm consistent it's the second time now second time second time y'all should be proud give me a, give me a, give me a round of applause because yeah your girl did it i did it again i was consecutive you know i did it again for another week because i really didn't know what to talk about because nobody told me anything to talk about. Nobody sent me anything to talk about. But you know what? I was like, you know what, Rissa? Just pull some stuff out of your head. Because you have a lot of knowledge. Because your head is big as ever. <laughs> but um, I just want to say Happy New Year's to you guys. And Happy Holidays. Hope y'all are having a great start of 2021. Because, baby. 2020. It was a blur. It was a blur. And I don't even want to talk about it. But I'm going to talk about it today. And today is my last day talking about it. <laughs> because I learned so much. I dealt with so much in 2020. Besides the um, yeah, panoramic. <laughs> so besides the panoramic, I we all dealt with some things. Whether it was mentally, physically, or anything. We all went through some changes. So, you know, we went out on faith on some things. We experience some things we learned some things we tolerated some things you know so wow that was so good <laughs> but yes um today's video is going to be about a reflection of 2020 this year that last year was so crazy and it started in like january like but it's so crazy because they said uh, the panoramic, like, you know, the panoramic started, like, in 2019, like, in uh, in November. Like, the first situation happened in, like, November. Because I had a homegirl who told me that she was feeling, like, kind of under the weather or whatever. She was like, I just know I got the flu. I just know I got the flu. But the whole time she got tested for the flu, she it never came up as it. So, she they didn't know what it was until like March. Come to find out, she had the panoramic. <laughs> so, it was so crazy. Like, Kobe died last year. Just so many deaths. Like, so many deaths. It was just unreal. It was unreal, especially where I stayed. Like, the homicide rate went up. Like, it had been the highest it has been in years. Like, ever 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 it was just out of pocket and i'm just kind of glad it's over and i hope this year is way 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 better but yeah last year like i said we all experienced some things we learned some things we dealt with some things tolerated some things that we are not bringing into this year at all we're not tolerating none of that crap none of the bull crap we went through with people we changed people like, we're a changed person. We're a new person because new year, new opportunities, you know, new possibilities, new opportunities to take, new bags to chase. It's just, you know, it's just the time, okay? It's the time to get up and do better at this point because being complacent is something that we just can't be. We probably did that in 2020. We're not doing it again. Procrastinated. I'm working on that. Um... Yeah, I'm working on that, but I'm trying to do better in 2020. So the things that you did last year, make sure that you try your hardest to not do them this year. Okay, so the first thing I want to discuss that I learned um, in 2020 was to not ever assume your position with anybody. And with that, I mean, like, mm, don't just don't assume <laughs> like it's okay don't 
it's okay for people to outgrow you. You know what I'm saying? It's okay for you, for your best friend to outgrow you. Although y'all are best friends, um, you know, some people come in your life for a season. Some people come in your life for a lifetime. You will never know. Like, it's okay to outgrow people. Like, I, just, I know I keep saying it, but it's okay. And, like, um, when people hit, like, college and stuff, they say your friend acting funny, your friend needs, but... You have to realize people are growing up. People go through stuff. People go through experiences. And although you would think as your best friend, y'all supposed to be there rock solid forever. And that's not always the case. Even if y'all do fall out, make sure, even if y'all do outgrow each other, know that it's not beef. It's like no bad blood. Y'all just, feel, not fell out, but y'all just outgrew each other. You know what I'm saying? People grow up. People expand their lives. It's not that they cut you off because you probably wasn't, some different form or there's some different um what's the word some different spots in life I think it's what it's called like y'all are all in positions y'all are all in different positions in life like they might want to go elevate and you might just want to stay here and chill out and you're okay with it and that's okay it's okay for you to be what to do what you want to do honestly um, growing apart does not mean beef. It me it does not mean beef. Just because um you fell out with somebody or y'all outgrew each other, it's no beef. Like I had people that not saying I outgrew, but we just grew apart, and it's okay. <laughs> like it's no bad blood. Like I still follow them on Facebook to this day. Whenever they have a, a accolade or something that they accomplished, congratulations. I share your post. I do all this type of stuff. We just grew up the same people that you grew up with some sometimes i'm not gonna speak because some people have best friends from when they was in diapers and they die together you know what i'm saying like they grow old and all that type of stuff that's fine if you have that but sometimes it's okay if you don't definitely it's okay to outgrow outgrow some people um last year i outgrew a lot of people like um, I had a couple people that I had met in 2019. Okay, I'm back. My last sister had called me. Anywho, like I was saying, um, last year I had outgrew a whole bunch of people. I like stopped trying to be so available. Like I was one of those people who always tried to make stuff work or tried to be a I can't, I'm trying to say it without saying it. I'm trying to, I try to be a, like a peacemaker sometimes, you know, trying to be nice, trying to be supportive and all that type of stuff. But I realize you can't do that for everybody. <laughs> like people will secretly hate you. Like and you don't find it out till later or until you guys are no longer associates. So, uh, yeah, 2020, I realized a whole lot about like friendships, about people, period. Like, Don't don't sit around and try to be a good person to rude people or people who are really stuck in their ways. Sometimes you just have to let that go. No matter how much you would like a friendship to work or like to build connections with people, you can't force it, baby. You can't force it. You cannot force. I heard this from somebody in my sorority. You cannot force a bond. It has to become natural. Like, it has to be natural. You have to just... It's the vibes for me. <laughs> it's it's just the vibes for me. Like if your vibe is off, you got negative spirit, negative vibe, I can't rock with you, bro. I can't and I won't. And I won't even make myself be around you. You know, true enough, people might talk about you. People gonna talk about you until the day you die, baby. And that's all you can do. All you can all you can do is be you. Be you and do you. That's all you can do. Because whether you're doing good, somebody gonna hate you. Whether you're doing bad, somebody gonna hate you. So just continue to be you and be prosperous prosperous because you can't force you can't force a bond you can't force friendships with people you can't force connections and i'm so glad i learned that in 2020 because 2021 i nah dog nah 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 okay so the next thing um i learned 
I'm on my iPad, y'all, so I'm trying to keep up all this stuff because I told y'all last time I was just all over the place, all over the place, all over the place, talking about nonsense. So now I'm on, I'm, I got something. Like, I, I got my iPad. I got my iPad. So um, the next thing I learned was it's okay to put yourself first. When it comes, um, it's okay to care for others. But you also got to do what's best for you. You can, you can. It's okay to be a yes girl, but you also have to be a no woman. Um, you can be a yes person. You're available. You can say yes. But if you honestly do not feel like being there or doing anything, you can say no. It's okay. It's a form of self care. Self care. Saying no is a form of self care. <laughs> Cause if you don't want to do something, don't do it. Because with me, I'm kind of like that. Um, if my friends ask me to go somewhere and I know. I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm going to say no. If we go out of town and they say, you want to go to the amusement park? No. Because that's, that's not that's something that I do. I want to. I really want to. But hey, being outside, I'm scared of heights. So why would I go? Why would I go mess up somebody else's fun? Because me being bitter, I guess you could say. Like me being a rude person and just being a party pooper pretty much <laughs> so i would i would not want to be a party pooper so instead of just going and being a party pooper i'm gonna just say no because i don't want to ruin y'all time of course it would be fun to hang out with your friends but it's okay to say no if they be mad if they are mad and get mad you quit talking to you they aren't really your friends just because you're not if they you're really your friends they know your scene they know what you like to do they know you know Things that irritate you, things that bother you, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, last year I lost. I learned the importance of self care, like writing, reading, working out, sleeping, uh, being watching a TV show, <laughs> especially being watching a TV show. Cutting your why is my ball this way? Oh, and then cutting off your phone, putting on do not disturb. Self care. Detaching yourself from social media, self-care. Why is my bun? Okay, there we go. Back to our regular schedule program. <laughs> okay, but yeah, all those things that I just listed are really forms of self-care. Like, um, especially the do not disturb. <laughs> it be them days where I don't even want to be bothered. And I know at a certain age, you can't do that because you have like, well, me, I had like jobs and internships and stuff calling my phone. So it would be a bad look if my phone goes straight to voicemail when somebody important calling me. You know what I'm saying? But some days you just have to. Sometimes you might get overwhelmed. Some days you just might need a break like from people and and things. And that's okay. You got to do stuff that's best for your mental Period. Please do what's best for your mental because you're trying to be there for people. You're trying to be the positive patty in situations and always there for people. You need time to rejuvenate. You need time to charge your battery so you can be there for people, be there for yourself, do things that you, you know, like to do. If you become too overwhelmed with the thought of being there for people all the time, and that's a great person. Don't get me wrong. It's good to be there for people, but you have to be there for yourself. You will drive yourself crazy being that available person. And we all have friends who are just so available to us and always call us with their problems or issues and stuff like that. And that's what you do as a friend. But also as a friend, you have to realize that that person has issues too. Who helps the helper when the helper needs helping? Like, who who helps them? Like, they helping you, but who helps them? So, those are really the most times when people just feel down and feel upset because they don't have anybody to talk to. Not that they don't want to talk to their friends, but their friends are also going through things too. So, why would they double dump them with their problems and your problems? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people feel like that, but I know that's how I am. Like, I don't want to dump my problems over to my friend if they are already going through something, they don't talk to me about. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do that because you got enough. I don't want you worrying about me when I'm worried about you. Because although my problem might not be as big as hers, but it's still an issue. So you have to make sure that, you know, being there for people is great, but also be there for yourself. Um, especially, like I recently, me and Dad recently like started working out and stuff. And it's kind of 
it's kind of coming along for me. I'm a little slower than this because, you know, yeah, obvious. But um, it's coming along. Like, I was being frustrated at first because I wasn't seeing nothing. But I've been seeing stuff lately. So, no, you can't tell me nothing. Honestly. Period. Poo. Go to the gym. Join the gym. Go walk outside. Even if you don't have the money for a gym. Go walk outside. Go walk the neighborhoods. Go, I don't know. Sit on YouTube. Go watch YouTube videos. It's safer inside. Because you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the panoramic going on outside. But yeah, it's just way it is better sometimes to just be by yourself. And it's so it's good. Once you master the art of being by yourself, you'll be straight. Like not being lonely, but being able to be in your own company. Take yourself out to eat. Take yourself to the mall. Go buy yourself something nice. Go buy yourself some shoes. Go buy yourself a phone case. Go buy yourself a ring light. Go buy yourself an Apple Watch. Go buy yourself a blanket. Go buy yourself an iPad. No, I'm just playing because I shouldn't have bought this iPad. But I did. Yeah. So, um, just always do stuff for yourself. You know, always try to better yourself in ways, whether it's learning new skills, whether it's um, just, I don't know. I'm not sure what to tell you. But I always do stuff for you. It's being... Having self-care is so important. It's just so important. And I'm so glad that I mastered that in 2020. Okay. Next thing. Uh, taking a chance on faith is okay. Taking risk is what? Okay. It's perfectly fine. Take those risks. Do it. I did it. I did it twice in one year. And... I think I'm doing pretty darn well for myself, honestly. Last year, um, okay, of course, last year, January started. So I graduated from Jackson State University December 6th. Yeah, December 6th, 2019. And I started grad school at my school, well, another school, not Jackson State, January 2020. The next month, I started school. When I tell you I had been in school, I had been in school every year since 2015. Since I graduated high school, I had been in school all year round. When I tell you, I ain't, if I stop, if I get comfortable, get complacent, I ain't going back. I'm not going to go back because I like school, but I don't like school at the same time. So why not go ahead and go through if you can? And so I'm blessed to have parents who let me stay in the house rent free, period, until I get my degree, then I got to go. But it's okay, because I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do that anyway. But, um, my head is killing me. Okay, but yeah, um, I started grad school in January, and I didn't graduate till August of 2021. It was kind of a year-plus program. I don't want to talk about it, because they made me mad. They lied to me during the admission, but it's okay. I'm getting my degree, and I'm getting on the out of there. So, yeah, I took a risk on faith, because... In my field of work, or well, social work, you have to, honestly, to make some ideal money, you have to have a master's degree. So I knew if I didn't go straight into school, I was not going to do it. So I took a risk. I decided to go straight back the next month. It was, it wasn't, it was tough. It got tough during the summertime, even though I don't really do much, but I'm sick of school, like sick of writing papers. I'm sick of doing discussions. I'm sick of doing all of that. But yet, I'm almost done. Like, after my these two classes, I just have an internship and I'm done. I'm done in August of 2021. So, yeah. I'm lit. I'm lit like a week. Period. I'm lit. Like, I'm lit. So, I'm, this, this year is going to be great for me. Another thing I did was I started my own small business. Yeah, I know. Our, our creation. Come on, stop it. Yeah, started my own business making monogram keychains. I was making these, but I don't make them anymore. My AirPod case is cute, huh? Yeah, yeah, I can't tell, but I do love blue. <laughs> it's not my favorite color, but I do love blue. My line number, Kobe. Anywho, sorry, got a little, little carried away. 
will carry away. But uh, yeah, I just took a risk on Faith because my best friend, of course, you know, started her own business and is quite successful. And then I was like, you know what, Vista? You take a leap on Faith. Because I told myself, I told Dez, like when she opened her business, I was like, I am not going to be able to do that. I don't see how you do that. And then like a month later, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a leap on Faith and just go ahead and do it. And since then, we slow, but we working, baby. We slow, but we working. We going up. We got so much stuff getting added, stuff still coming in. I'm so excited for the new stuff I have coming in, you know? Because I like I like my business. I like it. I like the new stuff that I'm learning. The um, I'm going to put a video right here of some cups that I made for my mom and her coworkers. And it's just so fun. Like, I didn't realize doing something that you actually love. And, like, even if you aren't, even if you aren't, like, just in it for the money you doing it for like your own self-enjoyment self-care i'm telling you like anytime i get an order or do anything like that i get so excited because i'm like wow people really trust me to do you know their orders for them people trust me to you know the artwork behind something that i do and i never i never thought i was gonna be able to like i said start a small business or even get a clientele because I mean, I'm I'm cool with people. I'm kind of well known, but it, like, I don't know. I just I honestly went in there with a negative mindset. Like, I was so positive, but so negative at the same time. And that's one thing I'm so glad I changed about myself. Like, I'm just so glad I, the change that I've made over the year is remarkable, and I'm so proud of myself. But yeah, like, take a risk. Take that risk, even if you don't hit a goal. You can at least say you tried because trying is just the best thing you can do. That's all you can do is try. Even if you don't succeed, you brush yourself off and try again. That's a song by somebody. Brush yourself off and try again. <laughs> try again. Try. I, don't know the, I don't know who it's by, but y'all know who I'm talking about. If you my age or you got old, so you know that song. But, um... Yes, most definitely. Please go out there and take a leap on faith. Even if somebody is selling what you sell. If you're a good person, people are going to buy from you. And I think I said that in my my hour-long vlog when I was in the car with Ashley. If you're a good person, clientele will come. People people who you know know you're genuine, know you're a good business person, you you going to make you can be okay. You know, sometimes your biggest supporters might not even be your family. And that's okay. Mine are sometimes. But friends and family, so important. So important. That support you get from your family or even you get from people that you don't even know is amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Same way for Christmas. I don't know if y'all follow my business page, but you should. I'm going to put it right here. Um, I had a homegirl. She, um, I met her some years ago, years ago, and she DM'd me for some custom orders for some keychains. If y'all follow my business page, you saw where I made, um, where I made some custom keychains and I had to put like logos and stuff on them. And at first I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this because I tried to make her file into something that I needed for my machine. And when I tell you it did not work. I was so stressed out. I cried. <laughs> I cried. I cried so hard because I'm like, bro, this girl done trusted me with this and I done failed. But then I was like, you know, Rissa, see what else you can do. And so I ended up going to my front on my Cricut machine and all this type of stuff. And I ended up making it do what it do. The girl is a beast with that Cricut machine. I'm telling you, whatever you need, I got you. Period. Period. Put your trust in me. I'm telling you, you can't, you're going to win every single time. Period. Last but not least, the things that I learned in 2020 was to not be so pessimistic. Who, if you know me, you know. Your girl can be not a negative Nancy, but I worry myself into situations, whether it's dealing with people i could be a hard body no lie but i'm such a softy on the inside once you get to like crack the shell 
I'm most definitely a, 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 um, a cry baby. Yes. I've, I cried so much. Like, I could, no, I didn't cry a lot last year, but I learned to cry instead of trying to be a hard body. Because I'm not a hard body, but I'm a hard body, if that makes sense. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with being pessimistic, but I'm going to tell this little story. I try so hard to be like my homies. Like, not try to be like them, but try to act like nothing bothers me. Um, Try to act like nothing bothers me. Like, everything is just oh, okay. No, my feelings be hurt. I be ready to cry. I be want to just slam some stuff into a wall. I be hurt. Like, when I tell you hurt, hurt, your girl be hurt. No lie. I can say, oh, I don't care. <laughs> no, I care. I care too much. It's my problem. And that's why I don't be getting involved with people. <clears throat> because, yo, I don't get involved with people because I care too much and I care too hard. So, I just don't do it. I try not to, but when I do, I fall just like this. <laughs> like, I just fall. I fall so fast for people and I hate that. I hate that because I try to see so, I try to see the good in people all the time and I end up regretting it. Hey, you live and you learn. I'm learning to, you know, pace myself, but it's hard. It's hard. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna by 2021, I'm going to be a beast at this. I ain't going to catch no feelings and none of that, period. But honestly, back to being pessimistic. I used to, I'm one of those people who will worry myself. Like, I will think so negative about a situation. Like, going back to my business, I was like, ain't nobody going to buy nothing from me. Ain't nobody going to like what I sell. My business and all this type of stuff. I used to worry and all this type of stuff. I still am like that, but I've gotten so. So much better. And I think that came from pain. Like the pain I've had like over the past couple of years dealing with people. Only because I have this issue like within myself. And I just think everybody gonna leave me. Everybody gonna stop talking to me. Like people don't, you know, like I just think negative before stuff even happens. So before a person come to me and be like, hey, I really want to talk to you. I really like you. I think we could be something. I be like, quit lying to me. And I just, I just push him away. I just, I don't know. If if a good do, if a good person came to me today, I'll fumble it. Only because I've never seen it. I've never had it. Like I've only had bull crap. Yeah, bull crap. I've only had bull crap, and I just, mm -mm. but this year I ain't going for none of that. Positive patty around this thing. Very optimistic. Very positive. Positive vibes, baby. Period. All year long. Surround yourself by positivity. Like, make sure you just incorporate that self-care. The positive talk you take to yourself. Like, it's, it's so important. It's so important. The way, you, the way you talk to yourself is how you're going to feel. If you constantly get up every day and look in the mirror and say, I'm ugly. Of course you're going to believe that. I used to do it. I still do it. But I told y'all I'm getting better. I'm getting way, 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 way better. I'm trying to have more positivity, more light, more love, more, you know, radiant sunshine in my life. Honestly, because um, I'm growing up. I'm too old. Getting too old for all the foolery, all the negativity. And I just... I don't understand how I even dealt with the negativity that I dealt with. The, you know, like, I don't know. I guess all that comes from pain. Like I said, like the pain that you have within yourself, pain that you've never actually talked about, pain you never actually coped with or dealt with. So, of course, you're going to, you know, have those issues. But, you know, in 2021, Rissa ain't going for none of that. None of that. Like, I promise you, you, and I, and that's so crazy because when I was with Dez on New Year's, I felt like a whole shift in me. Like the way I dealt with certain situations, the way I 
like taught the way I carry myself or not even carry myself because I still get blown sometimes. But anywho, like the way I carry myself, the way I thought my thought process, it's like it reset. Like it is so weird. Like I felt so, and I was texting somebody and I told them, I said, I feel so weird about today. And I didn't know if it was like a negative thing. I don't know if it was a positive thing, but ouch. But on New Year's, I felt so different. Like I felt like a, I can't even explain it. Like it just felt new, felt like fresh, felt like a, I don't know. I just felt so fresh and so positive, like a, like a, like a sunflower. I don't know what it was, but I honestly felt so freaking positive. And I really pray and hope that that carries over the rest of the year. Because that's all I need from this year is positive vibes, positive people. And I know it's going to be some obstacles in the road. But as far as me, like, doing it to myself, I don't plan on it. I don't plan on slipping back into my depression state. I don't plan on, you know, being sad. I don't plan on um, crying. But I will. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, I've, cause it's okay to not be okay, but make sure that you end up getting the help that you need. Like, don't, be pray about it, honestly, but go, also go get the help that you need. That's why they have therapists. And I understand, you know, some people feel like, oh, I don't want to talk to nobody. That's fine, too. And I can understand that because some therapists are not out here to help you, and that's just facts I've had a encounter, but you have to just honestly pray. You pray about it. You, you feel yourself or surround yourself with positivity and it's okay to detach yourself from people. It's okay to detach yourself from people that you feel like you don't, you feel like you shouldn't have to detach yourself from, but you can. It's okay to leave that relationship because they're disrespecting you. It's okay to leave that friendship because they rude to you. It's okay to ignore that family member because they're not talking to you or not respecting you, whether you're a child, whether you're an adult, whether you of age. Respect is is earned. I respect all my elders. I respect everybody who's older than me, period. But as soon as you disrespect me, all they go out the window. And that's just the point to where I am now. I just try to be the sweet, lovable, all this type of stuff. I understand that. But respect is returned like you have to respect me to get respect and that's just how that goes for life this is how it goes i'm i don't know i'm not tolerating no bull crap this year i came too far to relapse to where i came from come too far come too far but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video wow i really hope you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um like I said, y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to talk about. Because I'll come up with some stuff off the top of my head. I ask y'all on Instagram. Y'all just be watching my story. Y'all don't say nothing. Y'all don't say anything. And that's just rude. That's upsetting me and my homegirl. Because all you got to do is DM me. DM me. And tell me what y'all want me to talk about. Whether it's a personal experience you're going through. Whether it's something you need me to talk about or enhance on. I got you. I will do it. I am your big sister. That's what I do, okay? Big sister, little sister, all that. Period. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys, like I said before, have a happy new year. Stay positive. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your mama, your daddy, your sister, brother, cousin, and his baby daddy. And her baby daddy. So yes. Make sure you guys share this video, uh, like this video, comment on this video. Give me some insights on some things that you learned in 2020 or things that you want to grow from, grow. Some things you want to do in 2021 that you didn't do in 2020, whether it's experience-wise, whether it's learning, whether it's, you know, just doing. Just, I just let me know down in the comments below. Have a great day. Or whatever time you're watching this, great night, great morning, doesn't matter. I just hope you guys be great, be you, and peace out. Talk to you next week. Bye.